You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, B&B fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I have got big spoilers for the week ahead. Word is spreading about the impending death of Eric Forster, and grieving Thomas really needs hope, but then things kind of get twisted up between them. I'm going to unpack all of this for you. We have an exciting new promo that gives away a bunch more spoilers, and I'm going to tell you what order that this is all going to happen in because the new B&B video is all out of order. I'm going to clarify it for you, give you some context, let you know what day of the week everything is happening if you haven't please reach down click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates now let's talk about it and then i'm going to show it to you of course the first scene is brooke saying to hope it's eric he's dying and hope looks really shocked and sad the second scene is ridge talking to thomas and steffi but brooke is there with him and ridge says there's something you both need to know about your grandfather. And then we have a shot of Thomas, just all teary-eyed. And then there's a scene of Katie hugging Eric, and you hear Ridge in a voiceover, Dad doesn't want anyone to know. Then there's a scene of Steffi saying, I want to see him. And Thomas just distraught, saying, this can't be happening. Then there's a scene of Eric with Katie. It's a different day because they're dressed differently. And he says, I don't want pity. It's not the way I live my life. It's not the way I want to end it either. And then there's one last scene of Ridge saying to Brooke, I don't want to lose my dad. All right. So that is the promo breakdown, but it's all out of order. I'm going to put it in order for you. So the first scene of this, I expect to actually be the last scene where Ridge is talking to Brooke saying he doesn't want to lose his dad. So I don't have a specific spoiler date that ties to this, but the reason that I feel strongly that it's Tuesday is because that's the same day that he tells Steffi and Thomas about Eric and he and Brooke are in the same outfits. So they're either going to have this conversation before he talks to the kids or right after after he talks to the kids. I'm not sure. I feel like it's before it, maybe in preparation, maybe he's gearing up to it, or it could be after the kids leave, sad. But I still feel like this one is the first one. So then the second scene should be Tuesday the 14th, the official spoilers say, Ridge, tell Steffi and Thomas about Eric. And that's the scene of them. They are in the CEO office at Forster Creations. Eric is not there. And of course he's sick and it looks like he's at home. The two scenes of Eric and Katie, there are no spoilers tying to this. They have two different outfits on. I feel like the first scene where Katie's in like kind of a blue blouse might actually be footage we've seen already, but don't count me out. That outfit and the outfit she's wearing in the last one look familiar, but I know occasionally they will recycle costumes. So there are no Eric and Katie spoilers. And don't forget, it's a short week the following week in Thanksgiving. So they're going to pack a lot of drama into this week. All right. The Brook and Hope scene happens on Wednesday, the 15th. The official spoilers say Brooke tells Hope with Donna and Katie there by her side. That's what the spoiler says in the clip. You're not going to, I don't think they show Katie and Donna, but they are definitely going to be there because the way they're doing the videos now in these reels, it's these like tall, skinny slices of scenes. So you can't tell a lot about the background or any additional people who are there. So the Steffi and Thomas stuff where she's saying she wants to see Eric and he's saying it can't be happening. That's going to go on like Tuesday and Wednesday because there's a bunch of spoilers about Thomas for this week. And I'm real excited about him. On Wednesday the 15th, Thomas struggles to accept the news about Eric. Then on the 16th, Liam is shocked to find out 
how serious things are with Thomas and Hope. And then on Friday the 17th, Brooke confronts Thomas about Hope and he stands his ground. So what I feel like is happening here is, you know, Thomas has been Hope's rock and he's told her he would be. He absolutely has been from the moment that Liam said, I want a divorce. We're not going to work things out. She ran right to Thomas. He was there for her. He was comforting her. He wasn't trying to seduce her. She was the one who took off her ring and dragged him into bed. And all he's done since then is give her love, love and reassurance. And it's helping heal the cracks in her heart. She's learning to stand on her feet. She's learning to figure out what kind of woman she wants to be. And I feel like she's getting stronger by the day. So this week, we've got Thomas having this this weakness, this grief, all this emotion, and he needs support. And I am 100% certain that Hope is going to be there for him. She's going to find out also about this on Wednesday. So I feel like she and Thomas are going to have those moments on Wednesday where she's being strong. She's comforting him. Obviously, she's grieving because Eric's been in her life since she was a little kid, but that's not her granddad, you know? Uh, So definitely there's going to be a lot of emotions. And I feel like that is what Liam is going to walk in on on Thursday. A lot of people have been walking in on them having sex in that design office. I feel like this time maybe their clothes might be on, but he might be crying on her shoulder or maybe it went from crying on shoulder to kissing. At any rate, Liam is going to walk in on something that is incontrovertible, undeniable. He is going to see proof for himself that after he, you know, made her cry and said all those nasty things about Thomas and walked out, she went right running to Thomas and didn't listen to anything really that Liam said. And she shouldn't because he's a gaslighter and he's a waffle boy. So that stuff is happening in that order. So that's where it's going to be. And it's going to end the week with this whole Brooke thing. And I think it's pretty awful. (sighs) I know Brooke's not going to come in being sympathetic about Eric dying, or she might say, oh, well, I'm sorry your granddad is dying, but I think it's going to be that kind of situation, and I think she's going to, you know, play the card about, oh, you're going to get obsessive, you're going to ruin my daughter's life, yada, yada, yada. Hope has already told Brooke to kick rocks, and now I want to hear Thomas tell her to kick rocks. All right, that's the entire promo. It's going to be a really good week, I think a really sad week, so keep your tissues handy because everybody's finding out they are still keeping it from Eric, but there's going to be plenty of tears to go around, and I'm just about to show you this exciting new B&B promo in one second. If you haven't, please reach down, click subscribe. Be sure to drop your comments on what you think about this action coming this week and now buckle up here's your bnb promo it's eric he's dying there's something you both need to know about your grandfather dad doesn't want anyone to know i want to see him this can't be happening i don't want pity not the way i live my life it's not the way i want to end it either i don't want to lose my dad 